last night, Meredith, to come from behind victory with that walk-off in the 10th. The key moving forward now is to ride this momentum into a string of wins so they can get firm back in that wild card position. Michael, the Yankees are really hoping that that propels them, that that starts something, an emotional win like that, and they are able to build that momentum and really no time like the present to rattle off some wins considering there are just 18 games remaining this season. And Jack already mentioned it. What a boost the Yankees are getting this evening with Garrett Cole back on the mound. He pushed back two days because of the hamstring tightness he experienced last start when he was facing the Blue Jays last just three and two thirds in that one. Now, Garrett Cole was in the Zoom room yesterday and he voiced his confidence in the health of his hamstring. He did not seem to think it would have any lingering effects with him on the mound this evening. I asked Aaron Boone that same question whether or not there's any concern when it comes to the health of Garrett Cole. I think he's in a good spot. Um, you know, I think he was probably in a lot of ways ready to go, you know, maybe as early as Sunday, Monday, you know, but wanted to make sure, you know, we you know, we're smart about this. Certainly he wanted to make sure he was smart and, and able to throw his normal bullpen and kind of settle into his normal routine. But I think he, he feels like he's in a really good spot and expect him to go out there and, and hopefully have a normal Garrett-like uh, outing. Looking at tonight's lineup, you have Stanton in left and Gallo in right field. How do you determine who plays where when it comes to those two? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously when we're, you know, when we're in Yankee Stadium, um, the big left field, you know, I like having Joey out there. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's a little bit fluid, you know, ballpark factors in a little bit here. It's pretty, pretty similar as far as, uh, coverage and things like that. Um, you know, so I kind of just check with both of them. Joey doesn't mind switching over to right field. So, and then, and then big G doesn't really mind either way either, but since he's just coming off a of left field in, um, when we played the Mets and he did his work in left field, just felt natural to, to, to have him in left field tonight. You mentioned yesterday with Glaber at second base that you're going to be giving Urshela reps at shortstop. What tells you that he's going to be able to successfully play short? Well, I mean, I mean, Gio's a really good defender and, and with a glove on his hand, he's, he's, he's really good. And I think earlier in the year, you know, when, when he had to play, play a little bit of shortstop, I thought he did really well. You know, I thought he even, you know, <clears throat> he was able to make the routine play, but, but also I thought he flashed a little more than I even expected from a, you know, difficult play or arranging for some balls. So I feel he's totally capable of handling it and, uh, you know, expect him to go out there and make all the plays.